I would now like to move on to the perspective of the converters. And for this, we are joined, and I would like to ask you to turn on your cameras. We are joined by three leading converters for the dairy industry. We have here with us, um, and maybe you can wave or not so that people see you. I start with ladies first, Ana Vila, Ana Vila Ferreira, co-owner and uh, executive board member Intraplus, Ian Sturgis, chief production uh, procurement officer at Coex Farm, and Tobias Strassner, managing director at uh, Greiner Packaging. Great. Thank you for joining us here. Um, now, we know however much we do test, challenge test, um, and our studies, um, I guess the real test that recycled polystyrene has to pass is really what you, um, the converters, make of our recyclate and um, also what it holds then for the, for the brand, brand owner at the end of the day. So, um, let me put this question over to you and start directly with um, Annabella. Um, Annabella, you have used mechanically recycled polystyrene in your existing production process. Yeah. Um, how, did it, how did it work? How did it compare against virgin polystyrene? Um, over to you, what, what were the parameters that you've noticed? Bom dia, warm bom dia from Portugal. Uh, before of all, I would like to, in behalf of Interplast team, to say thank you to be able to be here and to share the great news that we have for our uh, brand owners, clients, suppliers, all the entire value chain that is here with us. Uh, going back to your question, Interplast uh, did run tests with to compare the behavior between mechanic recycled polystyrene uh, with uh, version uh, polystyrene. We divide the analysis in two ways, the industrial run, uh, trials and then the end, the, the yogurt cup itself. So we run the test in our extrusion lines and our thermoform lines and the conclusions are very simple, like you were saying before, same results, no adjustments in our uh, equipment and the same productivity of the machines. Then, in our uh, development, research and development center, which we have a form and fill and seal machine, or FFS machine, and which we can do a dry test and to do the multi-pack yogurt. And again, the same results. Uh, the equipment was running in the same way, same heating requirements, the same cutting tools, so and the same productivity. Now, going back to the cup itself, the products that we show, of course, this is a web, but I can assess and ensure that it's done with recycled polystyrene. We have the preforms and we have the multi cup. So, going back to the product, we have the same look, the same touch. We got very important the same resistance to vertical compression, which means that for our clients, when they are transporting the yogurt already fill in, they will not have any change in the logistic uh, uh, process. Then, uh, very, very important for those and for our clients that are listening to us in terms of multi pack. Uh, we have that tricky problem about the snappability and the bane behavior, and we very happily can say that we got the same snappability. If you may, I will try to do it here in front of all of you. And I'm sorry, I have to do that because this is crucial, and Ian and Tobias can say the same. So we got it, we did it no changing in cutting tools, no adjustment in the cutting tools. So I'm sure that the clients will be very, very happy. Finally, so what can I say? Going back to what already I have said, um, RPS is the easiest to, the PS is the easiest to recycle. It has lowest complexity. And I'm very positive to say that we found finally a sustainable solution that in terms of converters and in terms of our clients, brand owners, will have the same outcome and very important, without any investment. We should put our investment in innovation and we shouldn't be worried now 
in making adjustments in our equipment and important for our clients as well. Thank I you. Very strong statement. And I see Ian smiling and nodding around the way. Um, so, um, Ian, what was your experience? So tell us a little bit about um, how did recycled polystyrene perform in your plans? Mute button. So I think what everything that Annabella said is uh, is very good and extremely exciting. And uh, from a business point of view, the best thing that we can have our options. The more options, uh, the better as far as we're concerned. And not only does uh, the industry now have uh, a very strong polymer as an option, a viable option moving forwards, within polystyrene we have three technologies which is absolutely unparalleled. And may I say that, uh, you know, from a market standpoint, the pool and the interest in uh, recycled polystyrene is absolutely immense. It's unprecedented. And, um, you know, what I'm here to say is that uh, I think that we have actually a new benchmark uh, polymer for the industry. And, uh, you know, let's look at the facts and let me run them through you. We here in our inner tech center in CoExpand, we've tested all three technologies. OK, all three technologies. And can I say it's identical to Virgin? I would say it's better than Virgin because Virgin cannot compete with one single characteristic that RPS has, and that's the R. Everyone wants the sustainable, the recycling element within their production, within their packaging. And recycled polystyrene delivers that in a truly outstanding, unparalleled way. So for us, it's a really, uh, uh, it's a new benchmark for the industry. Uh, let me take you through four key critical areas. Quality, we've heard a lot about quality. Quality, there is no mechanical loss. So it's infinitely recyclable, and this high quality means that we actually use less. So you, if use less material is important to your business, recycled polystyrene is the top option for your business. In terms of productivity, uh, it has unparalleled productivity, mainly driven through this high standard of quality. But in terms of productivity, we can say that we it's probably between 20 and up to 30% <clears throat> Uh, higher productivity than any alternative that we've managed, okay? In terms of energy consumption, we've heard a little bit about our colleagues talking about energy consumption, between 30 to 50% less than any available alternative. So if CO2 emissions, CO2 footprints is important to your business, this has now become the new benchmark, the new leader as an option for your packaging. And the one that I'm truly excited about is the fact that it's truly circular. OK, polystyrene is now truly circular. What does that mean? That means that the full population of all applications of any polystyrene product can now be sorted and transformed between one of the three technologies. It can be transformed into any product, OK, without any barriers. We know that the bottle to bottle system is a circular system, but the bottle to yogurt pot system is not a circular system. You'll be taking material from a circular economy and you'll be putting it into a non-circular economy. And that is where polystyrene has a significant advantage and one that today no other polymer can compete with this. OK, so if I was a legislator, if I was a business owner, if I was innovating and developing new products, you know, you'd probably get your list, list of paper and you'd have your kind of list of, you know, ingredients to use, your formulas. You'd have your kind of try to avoid guys here at the bottom. You'd kind of have your keep guys in the middle and right at the top, you'd have your try to use. OK, what you should be looking to use. And polystyrene is now a new leader in this uh, category. Excellent, um, Ian. I see your, your camera is right now frozen. You have made a very strong statement and as a chief procurement um, officer, you have basically brought us into, into polystyrene, recycled polystyrene. But now let's take the um, perspective a little bit further. Tobias, um, you've also been using recycled polystyrene in your plans and are in conversations with um, retailers on the Swiss market, yeah, on the on the Swiss market with uh, Migros. Tell us a little bit about your experience, please. Yeah, thank you, Chrissy, and thank you that we, as a grinder packaging, can be participant of this great event. And uh, let me confirm what Annabella and I uh, just said. 
uh, we have really uh, with this recycled polystyrene a uh, very nice drop-in solution uh, for the market we made along the supply chain the same positive experience within the grinder packaging as also with our one of our famous customer so that means uh, the filling process uh, at Elsa, a member of the micro industry in Switzerland, so we made some tests together with them uh, along the supply chain, and uh, we went smoothly without any changings of parameters uh, with the polystyrene cups, has passed all the tests along the value chain, such as uh, uh, the sensoric test, taste, or the shelf life, or logistic test. So that was really amazing for us that not even in Grino packaging, also at our customer and the supply chain, we have really great results with this uh, uh, drop-in solution with this recycled polystyrene. And the good news are that the retailers and brand owners can use still the advantage of the polystyrene along the supply chain until the customer or the consumer shut such uh, like the separation ability as uh, Annabella already shown, but I have to do it uh, the same way. <laughs> and uh, that's a big advantage of polystyrene, but with a lot of other advantages, we have really uh, no changings along the supply chain. Excellent. I love to hear that sound. Let me just, um, Chris, let me just, Chris, we are reinforcing this snappability because it's crucial. And the clients that are here to us, the, the tricky question of the, the, the beauty of the polyesterine in over our uh, multi-pack, the fact that it's snappable. And of course, with RPS, we got the same result and this is really excited for us and for our clients, I'm sure, those who are hearing here us. As well as for the end consumers who like to enjoy that yoga yes. cup. Excellent. So with safety, you. with safety, with safety. So, in essence, um, you have all worked with mechanically recycled um, polystyrene. You you confirm that it is a drop-in solution in the existing plants. No changes need to be made. Um, the unique benefits of polystyrene are being preserved uh, within the process. And the consumer experience um, you have uh, shown us so nicely um, is unchanged in terms of the look and feel.